We have 3.01 centimeters of our magnesium ribbon and we have 15 centimeters of our string. We did room temp of water which we got to be 22.8 degrees Celsius and 295.8 Kelvin. We are now slowly pouring about 10 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid into our gas tube. We have the tube inclined slightly so that the air will escape from it and we're slowly pouring in water to mix the acid in the water. Okay, we're good now. The tube is now completely full of water and we are going to insert the magnesium ribbon about three or four centimeters into the tube. Down further. Does that work? That's good. Yeah. All right. The stopper we inserted forced water and all the air bubbles out of the tube and it held the string in place. With Ani Issa's finger over the hole in the stopper, we're going to invert the stopped end of the tube in the beaker of water and we're going to clamp the tube in place so that the rubber stopper is slightly above the bottom of the beaker. The hydrochloric acid is now moving down to the bottom of the odometer near the magnesium ribbon and bubbles are forming around the ribbon which means that the chlorine and the magnesium is reacting with each other. This is the hydrogen from the hydrochloric acid going to the top and being released as air bubbles. As the hydrogen, as the volume of hydrogen increases, the water is pushed through the stopper at the bottom of the gas tube into the beaker. Yeah. We're tapping the tube to dislodge the bubbles from the side to make our results more accurate. Tapping. Anna East is going to place her finger over the hole in the stopper and remove the tube um, from the beaker. She's then going to lower the tube into the larger container of water and remove her finger. <laughs> Okay. We're raising the water in the beaker to match the level of the gas tube. This will equalize the pressure. Um, the volume of the hydrogen gas is 40.19 milliliters.